Good morning. Welcome to the Gadsden City Council meeting. I would like to remind everyone to please make sure that all cell phones are turned to the off or vibrate position. Also, please be advised our city council meetings are broadcast on Comcast Channel 99, AT&T UVerse, and the City of Gadsden YouTube channel. This meeting of the Gadsden City Council will now come to order. The chair calls on City Clerk Ivan Nelson for the roll call. Councilwoman Latham. Present. Councilman Smith. Here. Councilman Avery? Here. Councilman Back? Here. Councilman Wilson? Here. Councilwoman Minatra? Here. And Councilman Robinson? Here. We have a quorum present and our meeting is open for business. I'm going to ask Councilwoman Latham to lead the invocation. Please stand and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. That is great. Father God, thank you for the opportunity of life, health, and strength today. We thank you, Lord God, that you have blessed us to be in the positions that we're in to handle the affairs of our city and for the constituents of this city, Lord God. And so we pray for your guidance. We know that you know the way that we take. And then, God, we know that the steps of a good man you have already ordered. And so we thank you. We thank you for what you've done. We thank you for what you're doing right now. And we thank you for the things that you are going to do through us and in this place. Father God, we have your faith to call those things that be not. We thank you for love, joy, peace, and unity in our city. And we ask your continued blessings as we do the things that you have assigned to our hands to do. We pray this prayer in your son, Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The chair will entertain a motion to approve the minutes of the work sessions and city council meeting held on May 23rd and the public works committee meeting held on May 24th. So Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor, let it be number saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to approve minutes. The chair will entertain a motion to ratify payment of accounts for the week of May 19th through the 25th. So moved. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to ratify payment of the accounts. Item seven is reserved for proclamations and commendations. I believe we have one today. Thank you. Uh, I'll have the representatives from Gadsden Region, uh, excuse me, Gadsden Regional, please come back. And as they're coming, I will uh, read the proclamation from Mayor Ford. Whereas a cancer survivor is defined as anyone living with a history of cancer from the moment of diagnosis through the remainder of life, and there are more than 18 million cancer survivors in America. And whereas a cancer diagnosis is a life changer and survivors face long-term and life-limiting effects of the illness and its treatments, including physical, emotional, psychological, legal, and financial issues, and whereas since over 1.7 million new cancer cases will be diagnosed in the United States this year, increased access to quality cancer care, screening, and prevention, especially among minorities and the medically underserved, must be a top priority in our community. And whereas the city of Gadsden has an active, productive cancer survivor population, and whereas hundreds of communities worldwide will be celebrating life during this time, and whereas on behalf of the residents of Gadsden, Alabama, I salute all cancer survivors and those who support them. Now, therefore, I, Craig Ford, mayor of the city of Gadsden, do hereby join with the Gadsden City Council in proclaiming Friday, June 2nd, as Cancer Survivors Day in the city of Gadsden. We urge all citizens to join us in this joyous celebration of life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Brett. Uh, and I'll Thank you, just Taylor. take this opportunity to recognize, I know that our, we have at least two colleagues on this council who are cancer survivors, so we're glad you're here. Thank you. Agenda item eight is unfinished business. We have none today. 
Item nine, a resolution adopting Title VI plan update. This is to comply with the Civil Rights Act to ensure the federally supported city transit service and related benefits are distributed in an equitable manner. The chair will entertain a motion to adopt this resolution. Second. Is there any discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Item 10 is new business. We have none today. Item 11 is department reports, committees, and boards. All right, things are moving along. Nobody has anything to say. Number 12 is citizen request. David Woodard uh, was scheduled to speak today, but he's uh, due to illness not able to be here. Our thoughts and prayers with David. Uh, then we have Heidi Darbo, American Heart Association representative of, uh, to speak about CPR training kit for Parks and Rec Department. So Ms. Darbo, we welcome you to the council today. Thank you for what you're bringing. Absolutely. Okay. So thank you for having me. Um, my name's Heidi Darbo. I'm the uh, regional director for the American Heart Association. Riverview Regional Medical Center this year funded a CPR kit that they're gonna donate to Parks and Rec. Um, it's specific for sports, so it has concussion protocol and can teach um, coaches or staff. Um, I know Jen has a need for part-time staff that comes in for the summer um, camps and things like that. So this will allow her to teach everybody CPR anytime. And it also goes a little further into some of the um, more detailed training. So um, just to let you know, more than 350,000 cardiac arrests happen outside the hospital. And most of those um, would be someone you know or love that you're sitting next to. So we hope everybody knows the, the life-saving skill of CPR anytime. All right. So, Jim, Thank you so much. And do y'all have any questions about the kit? Or? Uh, so, it's, uh, so that big box is one kit, is that right? It's got 10. Oh, there's 10 in there. Okay. So a classroom setting, um, and it's it's facilitator led, so you don't have to be, you know, Chief Reed to teach this class. Of course, we love it when he comes to those classes. Oh, sure. um, but this is meant for somebody like me who is not very clinical um, to use the binder and all the facilitating materials to teach a class. Um, Riverview also funded one of these for Hopes Bluff High School recently. Um, the teachers have a need, a requirement to teach CPR in school, but they don't have the equipment. So this is meeting a great need in our community. Well, thank you, and thanks to Riverview Regional Medical Center as well. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Jen. I just wanted to say thank you. Heidi's uh, been great. She even uh, came out to youth basketball and set up a little informational booth uh, during that and uh, helped spread the word and the need. So. Thank you so thank much, you. Thank you. and thanks to Riverview. <clears throat> Jen, you sound like your voice is going yeah. on you a little bit there. Is that from the Mayor's Memorial Day yeah. bash, maybe? I think it's just a, a little bit from that, and then just everything <laughs> we've got going on. It's got, got, it, got it going out. Well, I think hey, my staff is thanks thankful. Thanks for being a cheerleader well, for the city of Gadsden. I appreciate it. <laughs> thank you Thank you. Thank you all. All right, uh, item 13, remarks by the Mayor and Council. Uh, Brett, you'll come forward on behalf of the mayor thank you thank you mr president just a quick one want to introduce mr caleb smith behind me he is interning with the mayor's office this summer um, i'll let him introduce himself and say a few words but we're excited to have him in the mayor's office wonderful thanks welcome caleb thank you uh, again my name is caleb smith i'm a uh, going to be a sophomore at troy university uh, this upcoming fall um, I'm, I lived in Etowah County all my life, but just excited to get to learn more about the municipal government setting and how the city of Gadsden operates. So looking forward to this summer. Caleb, welcome. Now, where the heck are we going to get this $2.8 million for all this? <laughs> That's a good question, but hopefully by the end of the summer, I'll have okay. an answer for you. So. Good deal. Good deal. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's good. All right. Well, we will now go to uh, marks by the council members. Councilman Robinson, I, I whenever would, you would come you into kick me first, off? I have nothing. Well, <laughs> there's a lot of pressure. Every time I look at, at Councilwoman Latham, I almost, we got to get on a schedule. Yeah, I know your name. Now. 
<laughs> so that's uh, no, I'm, I'm fine. I don't have any comments. Thank you. Any any word on the uh, Nakalula Falls? I know it was a big weekend up there. Uh, I saw a few pictures. Were you out and about, or were you working? No, I was unfortunately out of town. I was over in Atlanta okay. doing some research on some things. So I got you. <laughs> Good deal. <laughs> All right, but, but, I, but beautiful weekend. I'm sure it was great. I know okay. the uh, the uh, pizza kitchen up there was busy. So when it's busy, normally not yeah. little falls is busy. So that's that's a good sign. Good deal. All right. All right. Thanks, Councilwoman Minatra. Um, I'd just like to um, give a shout to the Ritz Theater in Alabama City. Um, they have collaborated with. Um, the Actors Community Playhouse of Anniston. And this weekend, um, they will do Stephen King's Misery. And Friday, uh, 7 p.m. and Saturday at 2 p.m. at the Ritz in Alabama City. And then I also want to just mention that a week from today, District 6 will have their very first town hall. And it will be at 6 p.m. at the Alabama City Library. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman Wilson. Um, yeah. just. I hope everybody had a great Memorial Day weekend. Um, it seemed like the the river has come alive for the season for sure. I was really encouraged to see how many people are getting out there and take advantage of our beautiful waterways. Um, and um, and you know as as far as the the community as a whole, we've got uh, so much going on here. And I just want to say this: I had an interesting conversation with somebody um, at one of my establishments over the holiday weekend. They said. You know, Jason, I don't understand why Gadsden can't do something like Pier Park down in Panama City. He said, you know, Florida is such a great state. They don't have an income tax down there. They don't have a grocery tax. You know, Gadsden really needs to get on the ball. And I said to him, and I'll say this to you guys, um, I don't think that people go to Florida because the taxes are low. I think the taxes are low because people go to Florida. Um, I can assure you if 90 percent of the state of Alabama was a beach um, and our lodging taxes were what the state of Florida were, we would be able to do a lot more creative things too. But um, having said that, despite those restrictions, we are trying to invest heavily in our tourism-based economy here. You know, as most of you know, we've spent a little over $23 million on a brand new state-of-the-art sports complex here in Gadsden. Um, that's over in, in the East Gadsden area behind Gadsden State Community College. Um, we also hope to have officially a, an announcement coming soon for some major grant funding from the federal government, several million dollars that will help us in our long-term plan to reroute Rainbow Drive so that we can create more riverfront property to develop um, here in the city of Gadsden. We've made several other investments in long-term strategic master plans. We've hired companies from all over the state of Alabama um, over the last six months to, to come in and help us develop that master plan so that we can put together a long-term strategic vision for what this city could be. Um, and, and I hope that some of that stuff is recognized in the community because I can promise you that more has been done in the last six months to make Gadsden a better place to live than probably has happened in quite some time. And there's a lot of people that are working really hard to make that vision. So as somebody who's a fifth generation Gadstonian. I know we've all probably heard it a million times. Oh, it's getting better. But you can see it happening now. You can drive down the street and see it happening. You can drive down the roads and see it happening. You get, you get Anybody who follows these meetings up here can see what's happening every day, the money that's being spent and the plans that are being made to rapidly improve the quality of life throughout this city. Um, and, and I hope you guys can believe one more time and rally and get behind us and, and know that it's coming and that people are trying really hard to make this place a better place. So um, again, uh, I hope everybody had a great holiday weekend, and it's a kickoff to a wonderful summer. Um, and I encourage you all to take advantage of all the public works and parks and uh, events that the public works, uh, I mean, excuse me, that parks and recreation are, are putting together to make it a, a better place to live. So thank you all for everything you do. That's all thank I have. you. Thank you. Councilman Avery. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I want to read this. Uh, I've been meaning to read this for two weeks and uh, promote this, and so I'll do it today since we have a little bit of time. This won't take me long. For the past couple of weeks, um, 
um, he and I'll expound on who is he, has been in extreme pain where at times he couldn't even walk. We made a couple of trips to ER and had some x-rays done. Uh, we were told the x-rays didn't show anything, but he had continued to hurt. On Monday afternoon, 5-1-2023, his mother uh, took him to his primary doctor where he had a fever and was still in excruciating pain. The doctors called EMS and they sent him to Gaston Regional where he had a CT scan. The CT scan showed a very large mass in his stomach and a fracture in his lower back. It's been confirmed that the mass is cancer stage four. He was immediately transferred to Children's, where several doctors were waiting. As of right now, we still do not know what kind um, it is, but it all is also on his spine as well as other places. We should know more by the end of this week. After all tests are completed, we are very hopeful, but still need prayers. Um, <clears throat> This young man I'm speaking of is Jeremiah. Um, Jeremiah, um, uh, they did find what type of cancer it was, so I, I don't have it written down, but I will give an update that I, when I looked on Team Jeremiah page today, it says, look who broke out of children. Fingers crossed he won't have to return until his next round of chemo is due. So uh, I want everyone to uh, take a moment and uh, I, I, I take some moments throughout your day um, to keep up, um, keep a prayer up for Jeremiah. Jeremiah and his family. They have a, um, a Facebook page called Team Jeremiah, and on that page there are uh, contributions asked to support um, a mother that is taken off of work to take care of her child as, as she should. Um, and I think it's maybe a cash app, and then there are t-shirts that you can order uh, so that you can feel more confident maybe in those funds uh, with this t-shirt that's Fight Like a Kid, and it's, it has hashtag Team Jeremiah uh, on it as well. Again, you can go on Facebook, and it is Team Jeremiah. So I want to keep Jeremiah and his family in his prayers as he continues to progress and uh, fight this cancer. I uh, want to give a big shout out to all of Gaston City High School graduates that graduated on this um, on, um, last week. I uh, want to encourage them to do well and make positive decisions as they go out, especially this summer if they're not going to summer school. Um, I've noticed that District 3 Northside has been very hot um, and it's been um, plenty of parties and things going on and hope that everyone will remain safe and um, um, make those positive decisions. I also want to keep an um Keep an update that North Gaston District 3 cleanup is June the 25th, 2023, 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. We will meet at North Gaston Park, 206 Goldenrod Avenue in Gaston, Alabama, down in North Gaston. Uh, we have all of our uh, materials in. We want to thank our partners with Keep Eddie Wall Beautiful, uh, the Gaston Titans uh, football, basketball team, and uh, Carver Community Revitalization Committee thus far, uh, along with, uh, I believe, Honda. Um, so. Uh, we're still welcoming volunteers. If you want to volunteer, give us a call at 256-613-0901. You can find us on Facebook uh, also, or you can call the clerk's office, and they will give, take the message and, and pass it over to us so that we can sign you up and get you, uh, you, your family member, your church member, or organization involved. Thank you so much. Thank you, Councilman Avery. Councilman Smith. Thank you, Mr. President. Again, thank everybody, all department heads, for all that you do. It's really refreshing to ride through the city and see all of this work that's going on, uh, ground being turned over, excavation work going, buildings going up, a lot of positive things are going on. I think Councilman Wilson mentioned that uh, within the last six months. Um, a lot has been done. We realize there's still a lot of work to do, so we want to thank our mayor and his staff, all the work that you guys do, <clears throat> and as well as the, the city council. We just appreciate that. I know that everybody have the hands full. Uh, Councilman Wilson put in a request for some immediate attention down in South Gaston to public works, that water. I love to see those worlds being repaired and water being detoured, but we just want to remind you that water, we can't stop it. 
the only thing we can do is detour it. So let's just try to make sure we know where it's going once we detour it, because usually it's running somewhere else and maybe causing a problem somewhere else. So we get a lot of calls from East Gaston, as well as in the, in the North Gaston area as well. And the final thing to Councilman Avery's point, congratulations to all of the graduates, uh, whatever level you graduated on, kindergarten to college. We are so very proud of you. East Gaston Community Center, Jen, is crying out for some playground equipment, anything we can do over there during the summer. Beautiful facility, but we just need some kind of playground equipment for the kids over there. That's all I have. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Councilman Smith. Councilwoman Latham. Um, I just want to say congratulations and to God be the glory to those uh, council survivors uh, who are uh, in Thankfully for those who brace um, with work with us that are cancer survivors. And I thought about that. My mother is a cancer survivor. And I know that there are a number of people, and we will refer that passed from cancer, and we say they lost the battle uh, to cancer. I don't like to say it that way. I like to just refer to it as really entering to uh, eternal rest or healing from council, so we uh, want to congratulate uh, those who are council survivors and recognize uh, Council Survivor Day. Uh, like to also say congratulations to uh, 2023 graduates to whatever level that you are on. And to just say, uh, as uh, President Beck called my name, I'm never really prepared when you do, so I like to kind of hear uh, what everyone else is saying, but when you <laughs> don't call my name, I am prepared, because I was going to just kind of say what Councilman Robinson says, good day of government and discussing and really uh, moving our city positive forward. Thank you. Thank you, Councilwoman Latham. All right, I want to make an announcement. Uh, it's a reminder due to the Memorial Day holiday yesterday, Monday's garbage route is being collected today, and Tuesday's route will be collected on Wednesday. Then there are no changes for Thursday and Friday. I want to uh, say thank you to uh, our uh, city and city employees that uh, worked very hard to get the Gadsden Amphitheater uh, prepared for the uh, mayor's memor the inaugural mayor's Memorial Day bash. It, it was it was a great night. The weather was perfect, uh, and you know I've lived here my whole life. I've never seen the amphitheater look as nice as it looks. So thank you to those that have been working hard in public works and parks and rec and all the other departments to make that happen. Uh, I know there's been a lot of uh, hours developed, uh, devoted rather, to cleaning up the amphitheater, and it looks really great. And to that point, there I, you you hear things out in in the in in Gadsden. Uh, the mayor Mayor Ford has no plans, neither does this council, of demolishing the amphitheater. It's that's just not going to happen. It, it, that that'll probably never happen. So just to quell any rumors or to calm any fears, the amphitheater is not being scheduled for demolition. Uh, if anything, it's being scheduled to have more investments made in there to make it a more usable, functional facility. You know, it was built in 1933, so uh, it needs a little bit of work. Uh, something that old is going to have to have some work done to it. We're doing that and making that investment so it can last uh, you know, another 90 years. So rest easy about the amphitheater. Uh, but the, it was a good concert. It was a good night. I saw uh, Bill Avery there, and he was there the week before uh, with his concert, and that was a, a fun night. And then I believe, Jen, am I right, that some, the summer concert series starts this Friday night? All right, so we've got a, a really good uh, lineup this summer. Jen has worked hard. Everybody's uh, done their part to make the summer concert series uh, a really fun time. So I encourage you to go to the summer concert series. It's no charge. You just show up and go in there and have fun. So uh, this Friday night, for those of you that have nothing to do, because I see that every now and then on social media, there's nothing to do. Well, there's something to do Friday night, and it doesn't cost anything. You just have to get there. So. I uh, want to also have a, a thank you to the Patriots Association for the Patriots program 
uh, yesterday on, on Memorial Day. You know, it's an annual event that they do that they put on. It's a very uh, somber event. You know, we're remembering those that uh, didn't come back from our wars. And so if you haven't had a chance to go to Patriots Park up at Nakalula Falls, you, you should go and see it. It's, it's a nice facility. Uh, all the names of deceased soldiers are listed in there from various wars. And uh, there's equipment. There's, I think, a helicopter and a tank and all kind of things up there that uh, that will make you proud uh, of our country and make you proud that you live in Gadsden that has a Patriots Park. So thank you to the Patriots Association. And uh, last but not least, I said it last week and I will repeat it, school is out for summer and that means children are going to be out on our streets. Please watch your speed. Please don't speed in our neighborhoods. Please be mindful of children on bicycles or walking down the street, and not just children, but anyone. Uh, there's a lot of moms that like to uh, push uh, strollers with babies in there. And there's cars going where you should be going 25 miles an hour. There's cars going 40 and 50 miles an hour. It's just not necessary. You can't be that important that you've got to be in such a hurry to get to where you're going. So slow down, or Chief Jaggers and his uh, employees in our police department will encourage you to slow down when they write you a ticket because that's coming. We're getting the radars set up and uh, there's a focus. The mayor's office has put a focus on speeding and, and we just have to slow down. So please watch your travel and, and how you travel. That being said, uh, this meeting will be adjourned. Thank you so much.